got a nice lob pass, and Michael put that one down. Make it 8 6 now. Bulls with the lead. MJ with four. Leitner. Luke starting to come over and help. Leitner trying to back in. Can't get much room inside. Puts it up and in. Christian Leitner with the bucket. He's got four now. Bulls look to reverse it. Now Tony comes off the screen, kicks it back. Luke from 15. Nope. And Mookie, or check that, Ty Corbin with a rebound. Luke, one of three from the field so far. Corbin and Kuko in a little bit of a shoving man. Mookie Blaylock for three. Not a lot of passes so far. Had it knocked away. Lost it, loose. Michael tries. Tony does. Uh oh, this will be easy. Oh, oh catch up. Oh, <laughs> we got a timeout. 6:31 left in the first. An interesting quarter. Both and the Hawks are tied at eight. Hey fans, enter the Bull sweepstakes for your chance to win an Elmhurst Dodge conversion van, a computer discount warehouse, personal computer system, a dream vacation. Courtesy of United Airlines and Doubletree guest suites, a Zenith color TV or VCR, an Ameritech cellular phone, or a sports specialties Bulls hat. Fill out the entry form in the back of Bulls tickets or pocket schedules for your chance to win. Well, that time Michael might have been able to just gone up and hammered that one home, but he threw it back to Luke. Luke missed it. He'll be at the line for two, but the good part is Christian Leitner picks up his second foul, and Alan Henderson comes in the game for him. Luke hits that. Henderson had been out for quite some time, John. Now he's come back, and they say that's one of the reasons that they've had trouble since that 11-0 start. He got hurt, and as you and I both know, they're not a strong bench team at all. They've a lot Luke makes both of those. Make it 10-8 now. Bulls with the lead. Henderson. Quick pass inside Corbin fadeaway jumper hits. Ty Corbin with a pretty jump shot. He's got four points now. Luke spins in the lane, puts it in. Oh, that was in his face too. He took it right to his strong side. But John, when you're facing a shot blocker, the thing you don't want to do is fade away to you're get right. him room. You're right, Tommy. You know, that's the last thing you want to do is to is to change your shot, and, and be, it'll be beneficial to him to go get it too. The tongue ball comes through, and Luke picks up the foul. Luke's second, and Phil Jackson holds out his hands. He made Joe go to do? Joe Klein. Let's see, no, he goes right to Bill Wennington. Uh, Bill didn't play in the game down there. So uh, here he is. He turns around, faces him, comes to the middle like all the Georgetown centers like to do. Patrick Ewing out, you know, now. Oh. And I saw that Toronto beat the Knicks tonight. Quick pass inside. Mookie hit the bottom of the backboard but got his own rebound. Knocked away. A tumble with that jump ball. And I think that's as close to an unstoppable shot as you're going to find. It's a tough, tough shot to defend. Michael, way up. Yeah. Nice look by Dennis. He came around the top of the, the key and then went back door on him, and Mike hammered it home. Henderson backs in against Dennis. Luki, very short in the three-point attempt. Dennis Rodman came down with it, lost it. It'll go out of bounds and probably belong to the Hawks. Yep. Here it is. Michael up the top, catches and deposits with one hand. Nice job. It looks like uh, Eric Kasner. Yeah. Eric Kasner comes in. Mookie Blaylock comes out. Mookie, one of the top minute guys in the league. And Eldridge Kasner comes in. Anderson had it knocked away, and Dennis will get called for the reaching foul. So two fouls now, one by, by Longley, one by Rodman on the dribble. The Bulls fans didn't appreciate. Said, let them hammer each other. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know either, but that's what the fans are saying. 
But Kasner, pretty good outside shooter, goes down low to Steve Smith with MJ right there defensively. 